Hello and welcome back to the mini-series we've got going on here on Sci-Fi Night Light, a mini-series centered on scary masks, mostly in horror movies. I'm your host, Sebastian Mendel Martinez. We've already taken a look at human face masks, burlap sack masks, animal masks, and now in this last part we're simply going to take a look at some random cool assorted masks. Now remember, we're looking at the lesser known stuff, so no hockey masks, ghost faces, or William Shatner's. We're going to start off with a 1969 film, The Right, by Swedish director Ingmar Bergman. We catch a glimpse of some nightmarish Venetian-like masks as a judge squares off with the artists. There were plenty of cool masks in between, but we're going to skip all the way to the year 2000 with Urban Legends 2 Final Cut, where the killer sports a fencing mask. Now, believe it or not, but I actually took fencing lessons when I was younger. So, while you can see through the mask just fine when you're facing the same opponent in the same direction and not using your peripheral vision, just walking around inside with one of these could actually be challenging, let alone chasing after and trying to kill people with it on. Six years later, behind the mask, the rise of Leslie Vernon gave us a reasonably cool and unique mask, nice and suitable for a serial killer. I mean, come on, it's not like you wouldn't get freaked out seeing that face at night. The year 2008 gave us two interesting masks. On the sci-fi side, we got Priest's mask in Franklin, an almost emotionless yet somehow simultaneously adorable mask. Whereas on the horror side, Midnight Movie gave us the not too original but still cool looking skull mask. Speaking of skull masks, the 2009 film Laid to Rest gave us Chrome Skull, a metal skull faced deranged killer whose look is a little bit reminiscent of the masks from the video game Army of Two. The same year, we were treated to the film The Hills Run Red, where the psycho killer Babyface was more or less the best and coolest part of the film. The creepy ass mask from The Collector from the same year may very well be one of the coolest on these lists of the past couple of years. It's like a cross between a ski mask and a burlap sack. Simple, but effective. Like, say, a William Shatner or hockey mask, perhaps. So, that does it for this little mini-series that we've had here on Sci-Fi Night Light. I'm your host, Sebastian Martinez, and I'm signing out.